Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Raj Dandekar and uh, I have a PhD in machine learning from MIT which is the number one university in the world. Recently I have started a lecture series called Machine Learning Teach by Doing and already uploaded nine lectures entirely for free uh, where I teach about several concepts of machine learning in a very hands-on manner. The series has received an amazing response so far so thanks to all of you guys for watching. However, what most of you guys probably don't know is that in 2018, I had no clue about machine learning at all. In fact, I was scared of the subject. I was a mechanical engineer. I am making this video to show you how I transitioned to ML in 2018 uh, and then how I built my ML profile, which ultimately led me to multiple job interviews and also obtaining a PhD from MIT. This video will also help you transition to machine learning and hopefully inspire you to learn about machine learning. So let's dive in and understand my journey. So let's get started with my machine learning journey. By the way, this was me in California in 2018, I think. So I want to start in 2017 when I graduated from IIT Madras with a degree in mechanical engineering. Here you can see my family. All of us were really very excited. Uh, and here in this photo, you can see that I had attended MIT for the open house. So when I graduated from IIT Madras in mechanical engineering, I had applied for grad schools to go to US. And uh, very luckily, I received admission at MIT, which was the number one university in the world in mechanical engineering. This was one of the happiest days in my life. Here you can see the email which I received from the admissions committee. Congratulations, you have been admitted to the graduate program in the Department of Mechanical Engineering. Uh, and they also sent me this invitation letter. On behalf of the department, I would like to congratulate you and I would like to invite you to our open house. So open house is something where uh, students who are getting admitted to the university come and meet with professors, they tour the university, etc. So in this photo, you can see me at MIT's open house and there was so much snow everywhere. I was incredibly excited as you can see from my face. My PhD journey was about to start at MIT in the field of mechanical engineering. Remember that at this point I had no clue about machine learning at all. I had heard about it but I was really scared of the subject and I did not know anything about it. When I joined MIT in 2018, I started working in a fluid mechanics lab. Remember that I had received admission as a mechanical engineer. So I started doing experiments in my lab and my uh, the problem which I was designated to solve was the splash problem. So when a water droplet actually impacts another liquid, it leads to a splash. Let me show you some splash videos actually. Splash videos droplet. So splash videos actually look beautiful. Let's look at some of the videos here. Here you can see a water droplet impacting another liquid and this is what is filmed in slow motion. So when you are drinking coffee and one drop falls on the liquid, if you film that in slow motion, this is what actually you see in front of you. Uh, and this was exactly my research when I joined MIT and when I joined my first research group. My research problem was understanding the phenomena behind this splash process and what exactly is happening. So here you can see me doing some experiments to understand the splash problem. Initially when I joined MIT, I was really excited to do this fluid mechanics research. But slowly what happened is everyone around me was talking about machine learning. There was so much hype about it. I was in Boston at that time and everyone was talking about self-driving cars, which were even uh, being demonstrated in the streets. And just there was this whole vibe around mechanical engineering. So I started losing, uh, sorry, there was this whole vibe in machine learning and everyone was talking about machine learning. So I started losing interest in mechanical engineering completely. I really started to think about what is this new field of machine learning. So then what I did was in my second semester of MIT, I took my first machine learning class, which was called as introduction to ML, intro to ML. Uh, in my machine learning teach by doing project, I mention about this class a lot. When I attended the first lecture, 
it was a packed room like this with around 100 to 150 student it completely blowed my mind because it showed me how ml can be used in real life what exactly is machine learning how it is changing the entire life around us and i again felt that i went back to school when you learnt about gravity for the first time and you felt so passionate that passion was missing for me in mechanical engineering but when i went through the first lecture when i attended the first lecture it completely changed my life i knew that machine learning is where i want to do my career so then i started working very hard i started reading a lot of books in this field of machine learning i used to go to the library at mit and i used to sit there for many hours reading through concepts in fact i worked so hard that i was among the top 5% of the students in this class i used to submit assignments regularly i used to ask a lot of questions to the instructor and i just really started enjoying the subject simultaneously what i did was i quit my lab my mechanical engineering lab and i joined a new machine learning group at mit traditionally i was thinking that if i quit my original lab it's a failure for me but i had no other choice because i was just completely interested in the new field and i had lost interest in mechanical engineering completely so i took the decision to leave my earlier lab and join the new lab which is called as the julia lab you can even go to this website and see this was my new lab with an incredible set of people who were working on machine learning problems and i joined these people and my phd learning completely changed my phd journey completely changed i was so passionate i was working hard every single day and this really shows you that in a phd journey what is more important than the name of the university is the group which you are working with and the topic which you are working on if the topic is something interesting to you and you are passionate about and the group is supportive then you really grow as a person so my journey in machine learning really took off when i joined this new group at uh, mit this new machine learning group and my first research problem which i was given was to model the covid 19 infections so just when i began my machine learning journey uh, there was the corona virus outbreak and the cases were rising exponentially as you can see here the first project which it was assigned to me was using artificial intelligence or machine learning to help governments control covid 19 this was incredibly exciting and also very impactful at that time because so many people cared about this kind of a thing i worked very hard on this project for around one and a half to two years and at the end of this project i developed a dashboard like this where i had hosted information for 75 different countries and whenever you clicked on any particular country you were able to visualize how the quarantine strength varied in that country so here you can see that in india initially the quarantine response was very weak the government did not impose strict quarantine measures but after that it really rises up which means this is when quarantine was imposed in india and i developed this kind of a dashboard for several different countries in fact for 75 different countries all around the world for example if you want to see the information of canada you can just click on this map this was my first project as a phd student and this project became so famous that i collaborated with leading professors at mit i even collaborated with governments the us government many governments of other countries because they wanted to utilize this dashboard to track infections in their own country and that completely changed my life i became a very serious machine learning engineer suddenly from a mechanical engineering 2 3 years back i was now a very serious machine learning engineer during this process i also wrote a research paper and i appeared on several news outlets such as us news uk news india news etc here you can see the fox news of usa where my name is mentioned here and the research which we did isn't this amazing within a period of 2 to 3 years i completely transitioned to machine learning i was lucky in many ways that i found this group which supported me uh i found a problem which was very impactful the covid 19 and i got a chance to apply machine learning finally in 2022 i obtained my phd certificate from mit in the field of machine learning and this was one of the happiest days of my life 
here you can see in the photo i am defending my phd thesis which was titled a new way to do epidemic modeling so this was my entire journey guys from being a mechanical engineer to obtaining a phd in machine learning from the best university in the world and i want to show you this journey because i strongly believe that whatever field you are from whether it's mechanical electrical uh, whether you have not heard about machine learning at all you can transition to machine learning just as i did it is completely possible you just need to have the belief and passion to do so but i did not stop there after graduating with a phd i did not stay in the us i actually came back to india with a mission to spread the machine learning knowledge which i had acquired to several different students and to motivate students that even you can transition to machine learning just two weeks back i have started a free machine learning teach by doing series on youtube you will see that i have already finished nine lectures of this particular series and there are many more to go so please support me guys in this journey and uh, please follow along with the videos if you want to learn machine learning the way i am structuring these videos is that i am condensing the entire knowledge which i acquired over the period of 4 to 5 years into these lecture videos and i am making them completely free so that all of you can learn with me so this was my journey guys and uh, i am on a mission to make ai accessible for everyone uh, i am really on this mission to make machine learning and ai accessible to students in various stages of their career and the machine learning teach by doing project which i have started is just one way to do that uh so i hope you will follow me along with this journey of machine learning and i'll make sure to post valuable videos valuable lectures valuable lessons every single day thank you so much everyone